guys, what's going on? My name is Commander Crunch, and today I have a basic graphics card overclocking tutorial for you guys. I'm going to be using my GeForce GTX 974, the Wind Edition. Uh, and to start off, I uh, get Unigen Heaven Benchmark. Uh, it's a free download. I can put a link down below in the description. And also, if you're using EVGA, I pick up the Precision X overclocking utility uh, for AMD. I recommend F MSI Afterburner and also GPU Z which basically shows you your uh, GPU clocks. Uh, right now I'm at stock speeds. It'll show you your graphics clocks. Um, it'll confirm it. So yeah, that's what I'd start off with. N and so here we are in Unigen Heaven. You press F9 to benchmark when you open it. I'm using 8 times MSAA and ultra settings. And here are the starting results. So that's 1325 for the score. So we're going to be improving on this when we do the overclocking. So let's get started. So here we are guys, we're going to start doing the overclocking. The first thing you should do is turn off the full screen mode on uh, Unigen Heaven and open up your overclocking utility, whether it be EVJ Precision or MSI Afterburner. So here we are loading up the benchmark and I would re also recommend if you have a second monitor uh, have precision open on the second monitor. I wasn't able to record using shadow play, but um, so yeah, I'd recommend doing that. Also, have hardware monitor open if you have that, and I, that's I'd also recommend doing that. So we're gonna start off by increasing the core clocks by 20 megahertz for each increment until we hit the limit, which is basically when the card will either freeze up or we'll see some artifacting. Um, for GPU artifacting, it's usually going to be some colors on the screen, like sh like flat colors or blobs of random colors, or some just off-colored pixels. Um, and for memory, we would see uh, tearing, weird tearing, blotches, and stuff like that. Some just weird textures, or super bright images, like if the light is really, really bright and it just washes out a part of the environment, that could be another sign of memory failures. Um, so pretty soon we will see um, some freezing possibly so what you gotta do is you do your 20 minute or 20 megahertz increments and then you click apply while the benchmark is running and once it freezes or crashes uh, that's your limit so from there I'd start decreasing by 5 megahertz until you get a stable and that's your baseline for your GPU and that's where I'd stop going uh, in this video we're not going to be doing any voltage increasing that's another thing you could do so here we have our first hang up um, thankfully with NVIDIA their drivers just recover very quickly and it doesn't crash the system uh, so we're just going to dial back the uh, core frequency just a little bit until we get it to stop freezing uh, I've overclocked this graphics card before uh, in the past few days and so I know where its limit is I haven't done any vo voltage increasing yet. I don't really want to, to be honest, since I'm still running on air cooling. I'm, I mean, it's the stock ACX cooler, which is a very good cooler, but um, I might do some light voltage increasing. So we will keep going with this. Uh, same thing with the memory. With the memory, I like to increase it a little bit more for each increment, about 25 to 30 megahertz, whichever one you feel most comfortable and it's the same thing with the memory. The memory takes a lot longer to f uh, freeze the system. Uh, what happens with the memory is it ends up artifacting before it, fr uh, it freezes. So I usually stop with the memory once it starts artifacting. Uh, in Battlefield 4 I had this issue where it was like taking a part of the um, menu. There was like one button, I think it was the secondary button that was just gone. It was just a bunch of random pixels. So that was a sign that my memory was running too fast so I just slowed down that and I slowed down the core clock a little bit and it's gone away so that's uh, when you know to stop with the memory and here I have GPU Z open showing my final overclock for the core and now we're gonna start on the memory so the memory you'll be able to get a lot more out of it usually about a 500 megahertz increase uh, but keep in mind that this is not straight up 500 megahertz it's actually more like a thousand or more because of the way the GDDR5 memory works on graphics cards so you will be getting a very nice boost out of the memory uh, so I'm gonna stop talking here you guys can continue watching this uh, tutorial 
uh, just me overclocking. It's just a video of me tuning it. Uh, if you want to keep watching, you can. And if you don't want to, I'll put an annotation right here to let you skip to the part where I finish my benchmarking and show the final results for the overclocked benchmark. And after that, I'm going to do some Battlefield 4 gameplay and just show you the performance that I got out of this overclock. I'm not going to show a po or a pre-overclock uh, gameplay video. If you want to see that, you can just see any of my other Battlefield 4 videos with my 970. That's before I started overclocking. So that's sh that should give you a nice little comparison. Um, and my gameplay will be on Dawnbreaker. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys in a few seconds if you're clicking the annotation, or a few minutes if you aren't.
So here we are guys, I have found my preferred overclock and here are the benchmark results. Uh, we got 1473 for our score. Uh, we could do better if we did a little bit more tweaking, but this is just a nice increase of about 150 for the score. This is actually pretty close to what I've seen a lot of people with um, reference GTX 980s. They've gotten around a 1600 score I think, so if I went a, l a little bit deeper into the overclocks I could get closer to that. So let's hop into some Battlefield 4. Alright guys, so here we are back in Battlefield 4. You saw that little screen tear in the beginning. I don't know what that was, but uh, the game runs flawlessly. Uh, I'm playing on the propaganda map, and it just runs perfectly. I uh, did record a gameplay on Dawnbreaker, but it like turned out horrible. The recording was all blotchy and crap. It was just a glitch in Shadowplay, because it's happened to me before. So it wasn't the overclock, but... Uh, this recording turned out perfectly. You can see the frame rate is just phenomenal. And this is ultra settings 1080p. So uh, I'm going to leave this gameplay running. I'll turn the sound back on. And I'll see you guys soon with some more videos. I'm thinking of uh, reviewing my Corsair K65 RGB keyboard. I'm loving this thing, so I think it deserves a review. So I'll be back soon with that. And I also have an idea for a uh, game stream tutorial for the Shield tablet that I own. Uh, just showing how it works, how to get it set up, and some flaws with it, or some perks. So, I'll see you guys later, and have a great day. Alpha is now ours. Compromise. Hostile heavy armor's been spotted here.